Good morning. Today is day one of my four weeks on emergency medicine. Okay, so I'm halfway through my shift. Preceptor just sent me up here to take a break, I grab a snack, put my feet up for a few minutes, which I'm so grateful for. So far, nothing too crazy in the ER, just some abdominal pain, possibly a lady going for surgery, and then a trauma. Okay, first emergency medicine shift is complete. Didn't feel very smart today, but that's okay. <clears throat> so I just got back from my first ER shift. Let me tell you about the layout, because it's a little confusing. So patients come in, and then the first place they go to is triage. And then from triage, you're either sent to the RAS, to minor treatment or to acute care. Things that would typically go to the RAS are things like an ankle sprain, a simple laceration, something that is not life-threatening and really quick and easy to treat. I'm not 100% sure what happens at minor treatment because our minor treatment area was turned into a COVID ward, but I assume it's mostly like procedural things. Acute care is where the sicker patients go. Some examples of things that would make you go to acute care include a heart attack, a stroke, diabetic ketoacidosis, basically anything that's going to warrant a hospital admission and or a trip to the operating room, you get put in a bed and then you're in the emergency acute care section. Good morning! So today I do not have to be at hospital until 7.30 p.m. which low-key makes it feel like I have the day off. So I'm gonna try and be productive for the first half of the day and then I'm gonna sleep for six hours and then we're gonna try and survive a night shift. <laughs> Hello, so I'm just sitting at my desk. So I've just been doing some studying all morning as well as replying to emails, drafting emails, and I feel like I'm starting to get amped up and like ready to work, crush the day, but I need to go to bed. So I'm getting ready to lie down in my bed and I realize that the blinds in this bedroom, they don't really work. So this is my pathetic, sad, shoddy attempt at blackout curtains. This is just a towel it covers like 50% of the blinds. Oh god, I'm not gonna get any sleep. Okay, this is the situation four towels later. It actually gets like dark-ish. Ah, I don't know. I'm gonna put this sleeping mask on. I'm way too scared to take melatonin. I bought this thinking I would use this to help me sleep, but I tried it the other night and I was just like way too groggy when I woke up. Also five milligrams is so much. Um, but yeah, I was reading on up to date like the recommended dosing for starting melatonin and they say start with 0.5 milligrams. Anyways, enough from me, and I will see you in a few hours. Hello, I'm awake, survived my nap. <laughs> Wasn't that hard. Oh, it was not that restful though. I think I got maybe like an hour of actual sleep, was in bed for like three hours. Anyways, I'm gonna hop on the exercise bike to try and stimulate the brain, wake up and prepare for this night shift. Okay, so it is 7 p.m. just heading to the hospital. It feels so weird to be starting my quote-unquote work day at this time of the day. Alrighty, my break is over. I'm gonna head back down to the ER. Go see some more patients. We've got four more hours left on the clock. Okay, it's 3.30 in the morning. I officially just finished my first emergency med night shift. Okay, just finished another day in Emerge, and it's been a lot of fun. I think ER docs really think very differently than other physicians. I feel like the ER doc mindset is very much, number one, what could kill my patient based on this presentation, number two, what could severely disable my patient based on this presentation, and then number three, what can I actually do about this problem today? Any sort of workup will be done by internal medicine or the family physician, um, but then alongside all of this is a lot of patient education about when to come back to the ER in case something progresses into an emergency, and then when kind of not to go to the ER. That stuff is more so phrased in terms of what kind of things would be appropriate to see your family physician for or a walk-in clinic for, just so that we can allocate resources appropriately. Good morning, I'm on a post shift morning run. It's absolutely beautiful outside. Hey, 
Okay, so I just got to the hospital. I'm about to start another ER shift. Uh, tonight I'm working 7.30 to 3.30. Okay, I think I have got everything, I'm all set. I'm gonna head down to the ER and I will see you in a few hours. So I'm just having a quick dinner break. I'm more than halfway through my emerge shift. It's going by really fast. And I'm actually really enjoying myself. So that's good. Okay, so one thing that I am not a huge fan of on ER is you're always working with a different doctor. So literally at the start of every shift, I just walk up to random people and I'm like, hi, are you Dr. So-and-so? And they're like, no. And then it's just like so awkward. I had to do that like four times yesterday. So just finished my ER shift. I know I look so cute. It's 4 a.m. Uh, getting some McDonald's. The shift was actually really good. The guy I was with, the attending I was working with, was really good at teaching. I don't know if he's like a new doctor who just wrote like an exam or what, but he was so up to date on his knowledge and he just like remembered all the details of sort of the things that I kind of need to know and things that are gonna show up on my exam. So that was really cool to get such detailed teaching. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. I will see you tomorrow, and then we will continue our journey of the ER night shifts. Okay, so I'm just heading out the door to my ER shift. I thought I would quickly go over the things that I bring with me to the ER. It's actually pretty minimal compared to other rotations because everything that you kind of need is already in the department. But number one, I bring my phone because I'm constantly Googling stuff, looking stuff up, up to date, Wiki EM, uh, MedBullets, and Medscape are some of my favorite sites to look things up quickly. I always bring a water bottle because it's a long eight hour shift. You don't really get much of a break. Sometimes in the middle, they'll give you a quick break to like grab a snack, which brings me to my next item. <laughs> I always bring a granola bar. I am working 11 to 7 a.m. tonight, so I don't really need like a full meal, but it's kind of nice to have something to keep me going. Other than that, I just have like a handful of pens. Of course, I have a mask. I also wear a surgical cap just because things can get messy. You just wanna keep things clean. You never know what you're gonna run into. The only other thing I grab is just like a plain piece of paper from the printer. I just fold it up, write like little notes, keep track of patient labs and things on that, and then I can just recycle it at the end of the shift. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, let's head to our shift. Okay, just had a break, now I'm heading back to the ER. Good morning, my friends, just having some coffee. Today I am scheduled to be in the Razzle Dazzle, also known as the Raz, also known as the Rapid Assessment Zone. It's a short shift, it's really chill, so I'm looking forward to it. so messy don't look at it I feel like you could see it in the last clip I'm embarrassed okay so I'm just heading home for my shift it's raining out yuck what the heck um, but Raz Raz was fun you guys and they're really short shifts it was only six hours so I'm vibing they had music playing it was a party you're not too worried you're just reassuring patients Good morning, it's another day on emergency medicine. Today I'm working 6.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I kind of have half the day off. I was thinking the other night during my shift, it would be really interesting to do an emerge rotation in the United States or a country that has a very different kind of healthcare system than Canada. So I had a dream last night that there was a mass shooting, which is so ridiculous, but I don't know if ER is like messing with my brain. I have to say, I feel like I have a very love-hate relationship with emergency medicine. Before my shift today, I was just like, I do not want to go. But tonight has been so much fun. I've seen some post-operative patients that have complications. I've been able to stitch up some lacerations, which was really fun. Saw a lot of undifferentiated abdominal pain, which I think that's probably my favorite thing 
to work up abdominal pain. Okay, so today was literally insane. So I arrive on my shift, I get going, I start seeing a patient, and then halfway through seeing this patient, everyone's like, oh my god, like this crazy cardiac arrest is coming in, everybody get prepared, we get the trauma bay all set up, everybody starts putting on PPE, and then I get to be a part of this. Basically, the patient they brought in had had a cardiac arrest out in the community, and when they wheeled him in, I have never seen a freshly dead body, but this is what I imagine a dead body looks like. He was mottled, he was like purple, dusky, pale, like not in good shape. I was like, oh my god, this person looks the way our cadavers look. Like a cadaver is the closest thing I've seen to a dead body, which I guess technically it is a dead body, but it's been like preserved and all like flushed out, so it's not really like an accurate representation. Anyways, this is a tangent. We went through the entire ACLS protocol and this guy eventually had like a heart rate, a blood pressure. So that was a huge adrenaline rush. I don't actually know what ended up happening to this patient. We handed it off to an intensivist. The remainder of my shift was a lot of like internal medicine-y type things, a lot of stroke, atrial fibrillation, chest pain, uh, congestive heart failure. Okay, so today is officially my last day of Emerge. Wow! These four weeks went by really fast actually. So I just did CPR for the very first time in my med student career today. Um, it's insane how much like adrenaline that process will like ignite. Well, this concludes our emergency medicine vlog. Wowza, my forehead is shiny right now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.